All right, here's our second problem. Since it is our second one, I'm not going to solve it all the way, but I'll get it started. So if we look first, I have my two equations on top of each other. Our x's and our y's are lined up. Now I need to go look to see if there are opposites to eliminate. Let's check our x's first. We have a positive 5x and a negative 5x. We already found our opposites. So we don't have to do that times negative 1. Therefore, I am ready to go add these two equations. Let's add our x's first. We have a positive 5x minus 5x eliminates y, and that's a 1y, plus 3y is going to be 4y. We have 2 plus a negative 14 is going to be minus 12. Since that's a multiplication, to undo this, I must divide y equals negative 3. So far, I have found the y value of my solution. I'm going to get you started with the x, and then you're on your own. Doesn't matter which equation. If you choose to use the other one, we should get the same answer. I'm going to use the top one because it looks easier because it has smaller numbers, and it's all positive. So 5x, I don't know what x is, so I can't substitute anything there, plus a y, which in our case is negative 3, equals 2. Now, if you want to rewrite that, we can, because we don't need that plus sign. That might make it a little less confusing. I'm going to stop right here. So you need to go and do the two-step to find that x value and plug it in right here. Good luck!